15th chapter. For your hearing, we will read the 31st and 32nd verses. God reads, and he said unto him, mm -hmm. Son, thou art ever with me, mm -hmm. and all that I have is thine. Mm -hmm. It was meet that we should make merry yes. and be glad, for this thy brother was dead yes, sir. and is alive again, uh -huh. and was lost. And is found. The yes, Bible read that way. Amen. Yes. Amen. If we may leave for you a thought on tonight. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. 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 I once was lost. I once was lost. But God found me. But God found me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Have I got any witnesses? Yes, yes sir. Amen. Y'all ever been through that? Uh -huh. That you found yourself lost. Yes, sir. But God found you. Amen. 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 The reason I say God found you is because He 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 was there all the time. Uh -huh. Amen. He has never left you. That's right. And although you go through the process of you seeking out God. And his word, God finds what is for the future. Mm -hmm. Amen. And what we're simply saying is, your state of mind right now, you may be at this position. Mm -hmm. But God has found something on the inside mm -hmm. of you. Mm -hmm. Of you and of you. Called predestination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And each and every one of us are being preserved for some reason. Come on. Have I got a witness here? Amen. Amen. And we don't always know the purpose of our life. We don't always know the purpose of the walk that God has for us. That's right. But when God finds something in you special, mm -hmm. if you will just adhere to the word of God. And obey his every commandment. I guarantee you God will elevate you in due season. Amen. And he will prevail to you what it is he has for you to do. Uh -huh. Amen. We have preachers. We have teachers. We have prophesizers. We, we have those that are, 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 are what, the fivefold ministry. Uh -huh. and everybody has a purpose. Evangelists. Nobody has that same Purpose. There's no reason to be envious of someone else's blessing. Amen. Just because this gentleman here can play the keyboard and, and, and you can sing and you want to play and can't play, just be thankful of the blessing and that's how you come together. Amen. Amen. When you find that common cause, which is uplifting the kingdom of God, that is when you are able to elevate as one union. But when you're stuck out trying to get just yours and not worried about anybody else, and you've got to be in the limelight, that's when you're going to fail. Amen. And you've got to keep the faith. No matter how dark the road may seem to be, there is an answer at the end of the road. Amen. In the said text on tonight, in this story, Jesus was giving them a parable. Amen. And this particular parable began around the 11th verse. And the Bible said, a certain man had two sons. And it said, the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that falleth for me. Uh -huh. And he divided unto them his living. Yes. Amen. Isn't that just like what some of us do every now and then? Uh -huh. that, that when we start to, as the old folks used to say, smelling yourself. Uh -huh. And you start to want to move a little ahead of, of, of course. 
Uh -huh. Amen. You want what's supposed to be yours now. Amen. Instead of waiting to do see. Come on. Uh, and the Bible said, and now many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. Uh -huh. And then he wasted his substance with riotous living. Uh -huh. See, that's all you're doing. When you moving ahead of God Go and moving ahead of what you are, where you are supposed to be, right. then you want to go through some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't learn to wait on God yeah. and get out of self, you're going to end up in trouble. Yeah. And see, that is what this poor young man right here, he had to go through some trouble yeah. because he moved ahead of the game. Uh -huh. And he ended up wasting all that he had. Wow. And, and isn't that something when you waste all that you have and then you broke, busted, and disgusted uh -huh. and don't know what to do? Uh -huh. See, that's where he found himself. He, the Bible said when he has spent all, oh. there arose a mighty famine in yeah. that land. Yeah. And he began to be in want. Uh -huh. See, and that's what happened to these so-called friends. You know when you get a little something. <laughs> and, and those so-called friends find out that you got a little something. They're your best friend you could ever have. Because all they want to do is munch off of what you got. But, but it's not all just money. You got to realize the spiritual side. Because when people are looking at you in church and how God is elevating you, they want to munch off of your spirit. Instead of getting a spirituality of their own, they want to pull off of you. And then you walk around with a bunch of mess on you and, not, and wonder, Lord, what in the world has this come over me? All these unwanted spirits just pulling on you. They don't have nothing for the set. Hallelujah. And, and, and then look how bad it got. He couldn't even ask nobody for nothing because it affected the whole land. Mm -hmm. There was a famine. Uh -huh. Then the Bible said he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. Mm -hmm. He finally found somebody. Mm -hmm. But look what he had to stoop to. Yes. Come on. He said he sent him into the field to feed the swine. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. How God can have you right here if you would just be patient uh -huh. and wait due season. Uh -huh. But 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 you had to move ahead. Now you're gonna got not way down. Way here. down, yes, yes. Amen. But not only did you got got knocked here, but now he done knocked you down to your knees. Yes. That's what God will allow to happen when you start smelling yourself. Yes. He will bring you down to your knees, uh -huh. and when he brings you to your knees, you are at the humblest point you can be. Amen. Except flat of a sick bed. Uh -huh. God will allow you to get in a place yes. where you can have to hear his voice. Amen. You won't have no other choice because there are no other resources for you. Yes. You've got to listen to him. Yes. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat. Uh -huh. And no man gave unto him. See, now you don't run out of everything. everything. Don't have nothing. You, and you have to resort to eating the very food the swine eat. Come on, preacher. And won't nobody give you nothing. Yeah. But the whole time you had something, Come on. that was everybody. Yeah. Now when you don't have nothing, Come on now. and you need somebody, yeah. they done left you all alone. Yeah. Yeah. Said nobody gave to you. Watch this. And when he came to himself, that's what's got to happen to us. Come on now. We've got to come to the realization that we need God. God don't need us. That's right. Amen. Amen. How many hired servants of my father have bread enough to eat? Enough, excuse me.